Hi guys, so today is my first day um, doing back work. So it's my first time ever doing back work. So she, I'm saying, Ziakala, you know, this is my first time doing back work, it's my first day, and I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, I'm excited. I just want to bring you guys onto this journey with me as a law student i'm a final year law student and i want to bring you guys on this journey with me and yeah man you know when you're a law student a final, especially a final year law student seeking for articles um it's hard out there guys like yeah it's so oily it's hard guys out there like it's like it's brutal it's brutal and the fact that i even got vacation work that's that's a blessing you know so yeah you know i have to make my lunch i just have to make my lunch before i make my way out they want me there at eight and it's currently i don't know currently half past six right now so half past seven latest okay Girl, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Like I was even contemplating in <clears throat> like in shooting right now, but like I have to shoot because I'm documenting my day, you know. Um so yeah, give William Sudanzin and um quite at a quite reasonable time. Um we knock off at half past four. So yeah. But hey guys, I was good. Like yo, guys was shabu three and I was like basic shabu of past two actually singy. Yo, like my brain, my brain, like I've never I don't think like I've been studying like for years now and I don't think I've ever worked my brain the way that I've worked my brain today. Like <laughs> you guys don't speak about how hard it is to be a careless attorney or an attorney in general or a legal practitioner in general so yeah guys like my day was <clears throat> my day was like it was very busy it was very busy i got there at eight and they were just like okay sharp like you know they they told me that okay they introduced me to this candidate attorney and they're just like you're going to be following this candidate attorney for the day and shout out to that girl because that girl can teach okay she can teach like she was filling me in on everything and it surprised me a lot because she was also a candidate attorney but she had so much to say and she had so many tips and i'm so like i'm so thankful for that girl like gee like i'm just i'm just so thankful like if, if it wasn't for her like court would have been a mess for me okay so today our first stop was we would see at first first thing at half past eight was to go to court right so we first went to the magistrate's court because we had we, like we had some documents okay first before that we had to do some rounds around the office and make sure that you know everything that is like all documents that i needed at court or need to be certified or whatever that needs to be done in court we take with you know so we first went to the magistrate's court and massive figure in magistrate's court guys got value with this like a huge protest and this protest was about like some like umfundis a pastor the pastor that was like accused of rape of raping a girl and you know murder and also other um also other accusations as well and guys this guy this pastor literally got the whole congregation yes sir, the whole congregation to come and protest in front of the magistrate's court it drama guys and gaga you know we got there and yo guys you know yo today i realized why i realized why people die at, like cause like and the cause of the of death is, is a stampede I always didn't understand when they say there was a stampede at a stadium and people died. About today, I understood. 
like when they were in Ubuntu Muntaz was after at a stampede because today guys like yo these people they pushed like they were just pushing we were pushing we were all pushing to get into the magistrate courts lawyers were pushing to get into the magistrate court because they have work to be done and it gets now nah, one thing that I've learned about the legal profession is time like you can't take time for granted you cannot take time for granted so yeah, everyone is just pushing, pushing to get to the magistrate's court and I eventually got there there was a time where i was literally against the door like ganje and people were like hovering over me and I, I literally had to beg this man and these people are men it's not even women I had to beg this man please like a girl go but please step back because i can't breathe like please step back. like i cannot breathe until the security guy opened the door and was like you know what like just go in because manje was thinking you know so we got in and we did everything that we had to do with the magistrate's court and guys i started understanding a lot of things you know you know like i'm part of these associations like bosaula Bousa, and all that and the black laws association as well and they've always said like some of these things these legal practitioners that were like they used to speak to us they used to talk about these things Uwiti, um like you need to be friendly with people like you, you need to know people at court you know that you need to be friendly and all that type of stuff and today guys i saw i saw that guys you need to be friendly and you need to ask scapita mola and ask as if you know everything like yo guys like you know as much as you you, you might not be scared to look stupid but you wonder if you get to court and you think that you're smart Ne? and you think you can do anything let me tell you now let me tell you, do not make that mistake do not make that mistake because hey first of all i didn't even know that courts are that big guys there's flaws there are flaws in the magistrate's court so anyway um yeah we did what we had to do and yeah man we did what we had to do, certify documents, and then we had to go out. Yo, guys, when we went out, it was still a hassle. It was much better than when we first came in, but it, like, still, like, it was just a lot. And we had to walk, and then we walked to the <clears throat> to the high court, or to the high court. It was not really that far, so we walked to the high court. And so yeah, like, we got to the high court, and must figure high court. We did everything that we had to do, so I could certify some documents and all that and yeah you know and so yeah and then we came, we went back and then we went back to the office and then we it was time for lunch and then we had lunch and then um i was handed over to another cabinet attorney that was busy with like some applications which was so sweet guys the people they are just so sweet and helpful and i'm just really grateful that i got people that were just so sweet and were so willing to help me and give me information that i need and they took time guys out of their own work as if you're going to do vacation work and if you want to go to like volunteer work and stuff like that guys these people they take time out of their busy schedule like i'm not kidding i'm not kidding like they have tons of files to go through they have tons of matters to go through but they want to help you you know and like i'll forever be grateful for that j like i just hope they know like i'm so grateful you know i thank them all the time so thank you i'm so sorry like i keep on apologizing even i'm so sorry for disturbing you you know sometimes they get off their seats to like help me you know feel comfortable in a you know in, in, in a certain matter or something like that so i'm really really grateful and like i learned a lot today i'm not gonna lie i learned a lot i learned a lot i learned a lot of, uh, about procedure you know court procedure and guys these things like you know i i but like i really feel good about doing these things practically you know um because theory guys a theory is all fine and stuff like that just for you to know this type of stuff but it's so different when you're doing it practically you know no matter how how much theory you might know when you get to the real world it's like it's totally different it's the same concepts but it's totally different like there's like a set way of doing things you can't just do things your own way and yeah like i said like when you get to, into court what i learned today yeah, guys in court you must just make friends in court you know and you must be friendly in court even if they are not friendly back mara you must be friendly because it just it works to your advantage you know they make things easier for you 
right if you're not friendly to them they're not gonna be friendly to you and you're not gonna get any work done okay and the office is gonna be on your neck which you don't have any work done you know because you're rude so just don't be rude be friendly you know these people are there to help you if you're friendly they help you that guys they're so helpful they are so helpful like they make things easier for you so like i said like shame don't be afraid to look stupid ask ask okay ask the security guys or the security ladies ask if you don't know where a place is ask if you don't know where an office is you know and that's what i just learned today that i need to be vocal you know if when i suggest that you do something that will force you to network with people you know i attended like body saula events blast events you know events at school that helped me network with people and talk and get out of my comfort zone i used to be one of those people that just keep quiet and just keep to themselves and you know i'll be scared to even go out and make that sort of interaction with other people so i am just really grateful i'm grateful for the opportunities that i had before to network so that i can polish up my networking skills and to not be afraid to ask because man, i mean i ask i ask i'm not afraid of looking stupid like i ask everything so yeah man today overall like it was a lot i'm not gonna lie like it was a lot of information i have a massive headache right now and you know by the time half past two like i was i was done like i was <laughs> i was done like i was i was like i was done i'm not gonna lie so but yeah man it was a really nice day i really enjoyed it you know as much as it was hectic as much as it was a lot a lot a lot of work i see myself doing this every single day and I know that I love it. Like I love it now. Like I love it. You know, as much as I'm tired, but I want to go back tomorrow. You know. So yeah, man, that was my day today and that was just my dramatic day. Other than the protest, everything was really good. So right now I'm just going to go and get myself something to eat. Um and rest because tomorrow is still another day yeah i just wanted to check in on an update tomorrow again i'm gonna tell you about what happened so yeah guys until next time i catch you on that side